Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. You can also find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. If you thought 2022 was a big year for the Disney theme parks, well, just wait until 2023. In terms of Walt Disney World and Disneyland, 2023 is going to be the last year for at least a few years where we see a lot of major additions. So let's get ready for an action-packed year as we count down the top 10 new rides and attractions coming to the Disney theme parks in 2023. Number 10 Back in January of 2022, Disney announced that Woody's Roundup Rodeo Barbecue Restaurant in Toy Story Land would be opening this year. While with construction still ongoing and no announcement made yet, I think it's safe to say this will now be opening in 2023. Probably early 2023. Over the past month, more theming has been added to the entrance, so it appears things are getting close, just not there yet. This is the only piece of concept art that's ever been shared showing the inside of the restaurant, but it does remind me a lot of the queue for Midway Mania. An indoor sit-down restaurant was missing when Toy Story Land opened in 2018, and now, five years later, it's about time they start serving that barbecue. It was originally slated to open in 2020, but we all know how that year went. So 2023 will finally welcome this new sit-down restaurant to Hollywood Studios. Number 9 2023 marks the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company, and the Disney 100 Years of Wonder celebration officially begins on January 27th at Disneyland. First off, Sleeping Beauty Castle will receive a mini makeover which includes platinum banners, the three fairies from Sleeping Beauty, topped off with a sparkling wishing star. Very fitting. Mickey, Minnie, and the gang will have brand new costumes for the celebration, and Bob Chapek will not be there. This picture did not age too well. January 27th also marks the debut of a brand new nighttime spectacular called Wondrous Journeys. The show will feature nods to all 60 Walt Disney Animation Studio films to date, but fireworks will only be added on select nights. I'm not really a fan of this show being projection only some nights since Sleeping Beauty Castle is such a small canvas. Then at Disney California Adventure, a brand new version of World of Color will also debut on January 27th called World of Color 1. Disney has said that the show will tell a new story of how a single action like a drop of water creates a ripple that can grow into a wave of change and it will all be told through some of our favorite characters. The concept art shows characters from Encanto, Coco, Soul, and Moana, so it's going to be interesting to see what this new show brings. Number 8 January 27th is a big day over at the Disneyland Resort, because in addition to everything already mentioned, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway will also open on this day. Disney recently shared the new logo for the attraction on Instagram, and it matches the look and feel of the Toontown world. Now, this is a clone of the ride in Florida, but not everything is going to be identical. First, we can expect major differences in the queue. Once you enter the El Capitoon Theater, the queue will be set up as a celebration of Mickey Mouse throughout the years. It'll be like a little Mickey Mouse museum honoring his legacy through all the shorts and on-screen appearances he's made over the last 90 years. Then when it comes to the pre-show, this will also be different. At Hollywood Studios, we're invited by Goofy into the cartoon world, but since we've already entered the cartoon world when we enter Toontown, a brand new pre-show will be debuting with this version of the ride. It'll be interesting to see how it's done, but it will most definitely still involve the perfect picnic short, since that sets up the whole story of the ride. Then when it comes to the ride itself, the scenes will all be the same, but the scene staging will be different than Florida to better fit the space in California. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is going to be a perfect anchor attraction for Mickey's Toontown. I can't wait to ride it, but although the ride is opening on the 27th, the entire land won't be opening until March. Which leads me into number 7. The reimagining of Mickey's Toontown is one of the biggest projects underway right now at Disneyland. The grand opening of the refreshed Toontown is set for March 8th, 
so mark your calendars. In an article shared on the Disney Parks blog, it was said that everything else in the land would be opening on this day. So when Runaway Railway opens earlier, it sounds like construction walls will just line a path up to the right. With the reopening of Toontown, we can expect to see Centennial Park, which will feature a brand new fountain and the Dreaming Tree, where the little ones will be able to climb and explore. Then as we move into the land, Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin will return, giving us the chance to spin through the alleyways of Toontown with Lenny the Cap. Then on the other side of the land, the exterior of Goofy's house will be home to Goofy's How To Play Yard, which incorporates a fun interactive sound garden. Then inside, it's being transformed into an interactive camp candy-making contraption. Donald's boat has crashed into Goofy's pond, which will now be a splash pad. Mickey and Minnie's houses will be reopening as walkthrough attractions, giving us a chance to meet them inside. And lastly, Chippendale's Gadget Coaster is the new name for Gadget's Go Coaster. Based off the logo, I don't expect we'll see many major changes with the theming. Overall, so many fresh ideas have been infused into this reimagining, bringing Toontown right into the 21st century. I can't wait to explore and discover all these new easter eggs hidden in the land. Number 6 The long-awaited return of the Magic Happens Parade is finally happening at Disneyland. The parade will make its debut once again on February 24th, almost three years to the day it originally debuted. Magic Happens opened on February 27th, 2020, but only ran for just over two weeks before the parks shut down due to the pandemic. The parade features a catchy theme song written by Todrick Hall, and at the time when it debuted, many newer films had presence in the parade, like Moana, Coco, and Frozen 2. If the parade had debuted for the first time next year, an Encanto float with the Madrigal Casita would have been a perfect fit for Magic Happens, don't you think? Disney hasn't said anything about additions or modifications to the parade, but who knows, maybe we'll get a surprise when it debuts in February. Number 5 Epcot has been under construction for many years now, and the end is finally kinda here. It was announced that D23, that journey of water inspired by Moana along with World Celebration would open in late 2023. Knowing Disney's track record, it will probably open on October 1st. Now in terms of Journey of Water, Disney just removed the scaffolding on the attraction's first section as it's seen here in this picture from BioReconstruct on Twitter. This interactive water experience will also include a 16-foot Tefiti which was actually just installed in the park. If we look at the concept art, it looks like this is her right here. Journey of Water will complete world nature, and when it's open, this is going to be such a beautiful area to explore. Kind of feels out of place at Epcot, but it's still going to be beautiful. Then moving over to World Celebration in the middle of the park, Communicore Hall will serve as the new festival center. On the other side of the building, you'll find Communicore Plaza. This will be a place to host musical performances, and the concept art shows you how the gardens will transform with each festival. Also as part of World Celebration, you will find Dreamer's Point with the statue of Walt Disney, and inside Communicore Hall, a part of the building will serve as an area for a Mickey and Friends meet and greet. It's going to be really nice to have Epcot construction wall free in late 2023, so that can't come soon enough. Number 4 over at Magic Kingdom, we can expect the grand return of Happily Ever After in 2023 in an updated version of the show. This means we will be saying goodbye to Disney Enchantment. With Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary celebration ending on March 31st, I want to assume the new version of Happily Ever After will debut on or around April 1st. Disney had a hit with Happily Ever After, and the show has great bones as it was, so I could just see them making some small updates to the score with songs from more recent films, and of course, new animation to go along with it. The day Happily Ever After returns will be a busy day at Magic Kingdom. Then we can also expect a brand new Nighttime Spectacular to debut at Epcot in late 2023. This will probably be around the time World Celebration opens, which means we will be saying goodbye to Harmonious. No other concept art or information has been shared aside from the new show being in development, but it'll essentially mark the grand reopening of the new Epcot. So it's going to be really interesting to see what Disney does based off of what they've learned with Harmonious. 
Hopefully, this one has a bit more longevity. Number three. It was announced earlier this year that Tarzan's Treehouse will reopen as the Adventureland Treehouse in 2023. It's inspired by the original Swiss Robinson Treehouse that opened in 1962. They're bringing the water wheel back, and through the window you can see an organ and what will be the mother's music then. This definitely means the return of Swiss Capoca. Just makes you want to dance. There will also be the son's nature room and the daughter's astronomer's loft. Plus, it's also safe to say this will tie into the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. They're truly bringing a classic attraction back in a brand new way without shoving current IPs where they don't need to be. But just remember, the original Treehouse was based off an IP. In 1960, Disney released Swiss Family Robinson, so IPs have always been part of the Disneyland experience. Now, no official opening date has been released, but seeing how work has been well underway for some time now, an early 2023 opening would be my guess. Number 2 One of the most anticipated rides at Walt Disney World would have to be Tron Light Cycle Run. We've been seeing construction progress on this new coaster for about four years now, and it was announced earlier this year that Tron would finally open in spring of 2023. They've been actively testing the ride for a couple months now, and this is what the area looked like in the middle of November. You can see a lot of the concrete and landscaping work looks very close to being finished. Then over by Tomorrowland Light & Power Company, modifications to the building and the walkway are also nearing completion. Once this ride is finally open to guests, we'll be launched from 0 to 59 miles per hour as we head through this futuristic journey in the grid. Now with the ride's construction nearing completion, this also means the return of the Walt Disney World Railroad. They have been doing testing in the past little while, so for sure we'll see it open in 2023, but it could even be closer to the end of this year. We'll just have to keep our eyes peeled. All I know is that it's already been four years since the railroad closed, so it's about time it returns. Number 1 Now to close the list off, a lot of smaller additions are expected at Walt Disney World in 2023, but none of these have dates attached. First off, we can expect to see the Hatbox Ghost animatronic added to the Haunted Mansion at Magic Kingdom. Ever since he was added to Disneyland in 2015, fans have been wondering if he would ever make it to Florida. And now, he will! As part of Disney's Inclusivity and Diversity initiative, brand new dolls and wheelchairs will be added to It's a Small World like they were added to Disneyland in November of this year. Then at D23, it was announced that a new way to meet Figment would be coming to Epcot. I'm expecting this to be some sort of interactive meet and greet like we have with BB-8, or even this free-roaming robotic technology Imagineering recently developed. He won't appear until late 2023, which makes sense given that the Imagination Pavilion is also in World Celebration. But as you can see, there is a lot to be excited about next year. So what are you looking forward to the most in 2023? I'd love to know! Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.